All right, uh, welcome back to part two of The Darkness 2. Um, well, we left off last time. We got blowed up, and now we're in an insane asylum of sorts, so let's see where that goes from there. All right, sit back and enjoy. dead what happened back there I uh, I handle things like I always do what the hell's going on Tony hell if I know boss look we got to get out of here you go in your limo and I'll go ride in the car with Vinny he busted up a couple of ribs but he's yeah, just a couple of ribs here and there not ridiculous the first time you use the darkness it scares you, but once you've tasted it, you can't stop. That's all you think about. Like I said, it consumes you. Every second of every day for the last two fucking years, I kept myself in check. Gritted my teeth and kept it buried. Oh, now it's back. And I can feel what it's doing to me. So, uh... I guess setting you up with the twins didn't go so good, huh? Yeah, no shit. I'm glad you're all right, Vin. Now, can you tell me what the fuck just happened? I don't know. I saw some weird-looking guy had a limp. It was crazy. Like, one minute he's there, the next minute the guy just fucking disappears. I don't know. I must have hit my head or something. Look, anyways, Jimmy says he's got a lead on the crew that hit us. Good. Now, find Jimmy. Tell him to meet me in my office. I'm gonna head upstairs. Yeah, sure. Whatever you need, Jackie. All righty. Um, here we are in the, uh, luxurious Jackie Estacado uh -huh. mansion. It's basically half of Al Pacino's mansion in Scarface. It's basically half of the staircase. You got right there the double doors that would lead you straight back into the Coke room. <laughs> but, I mean, even, like, the colors and stuff is kind of, I mean, the lighting's different. It's much darker in Pacino's mansion. <laughs> But, uh, well, they said to go upstairs, so we're not really going to explore around. We're just going to progress the story here. Just going to keep going, head to the bedroom. See if these guys, oh, we got, yeah, Butcher Joyce. This guy, right here. Thank Christ he got it back, you know? What do you mean? You heard the expression, mess with the bull and you get the horns? <laughs> well, mess with Jackie and you get those two things of his. I'll take those things over horns any day. I mean, how do you think he took over the whole family so fast in the first place? That fucking thing of his. Yeah, that's how I'm not going to interrupt them. I'm just going to let them say their piece about me. Uh, so here we are. This is where uh, Mr. Estacado lays his head at night. Got some... Uh, Insolvent monthlies and uh, what is that? What modern exterior? Modern exterior. Mm. Interesting reads. <laughs> there she is, my beloved Jenny Romano, slain tragically because of my stupid choices. Let's light a candle for her. I saw you again today, in the alley, down on the tracks. I still see you, everywhere I go. Oh. Don't torture yourself with her memory, Jackie. Aunt Sarah. Jenny would never have wanted this. It scares me that you're so much like your father, Carlo. 
He could never let things go. Aunt Sarah, I'm fine. How many times I gotta tell you? You're a terrible liar, Jackie. Sometimes... Sometimes I, I think I see her. And it's like... It's like she's not gone. But she is gone, Jackie. You buried Jenny years ago. I know, I know. Listen, Aunt Sarah, thanks for looking out for me, but I'm okay, all right? Just got a lot on my mind right now is all. Fine. You ever get the balls to actually talk about all this? All right, Aunt Sarah, you want to you want to go there? We'll talk about this right now. All right, fine. You want to bust my chops, then let's talk. What do you mean, like my father? I loved your father. Everyone loved Carlo. He just had that way about him. But before... Before we lost him, he couldn't let things go. He became obsessed, and that obsession consumed him, Jackie. I don't want to see the same thing happen to you. Obsessed with what? It... It's not important. Y you just have to let go, Jackie. You have to move on with your life. I am, Aunt Sarah. I am. You really are the worst liar I've ever met. And I grew up with thieves. So what then? I'm seeing ghosts? I don't believe in ghosts, Jackie. But I do believe in being haunted. You need to man up and let all of this go. You're right. How come you're always right? Comes with age, kiddo. I'll talk to you later, Aunt Sarah. You know where to find me. That's Aunt Sarah for you. Tough loving. Nothing but tough loving from that woman. <sighs> Alrighty. Let's take a stroll on to the top of the stairs where Vinny will probably corner us. Yep, there he is. Hey, boss. So what's what? I want you to go find somebody for me. Johnny Powell. Lives down by the Queensboro Bridge. You find him and bring him back here. Johnny Powell? Ain't that the guy that used to help you out with that thing of yours? He was a weird fuck. Whatever happened to that guy anyway? It don't matter. I need him back. Go bring him by for a visit. And hey, you don't have to be nice to him. Whatever you say, boss. I'll have the new guys go get him. Oh, hey, uh, Jimmy's waiting for you in your office. He's got a lead on the guys who hit us tonight. Thanks, Finney. Anytime, boss. Let me know if you need anything else. So, we're gonna go talk to Jimmy the Grape. There he is, Grape, this purple suit. Looking all grapeish. Look at him, he does. He looks like a. Well, I mean, looks more like a prone. <laughs> yeah, he's an old timer. He, he earned it. Good to see you in one piece. He earned his respects. Then he says you got information for me. This thing at the restaurant. I just heard from Emilio Capizzi. A couple of hours later, someone torched our warehouse down at the docks. And Freddy tells me two of our boys got clipped outside of Gino's Deli tonight. Somebody's making a play. Whoever did this to us is dead. You hear me, Jimmy? There's the Jaggy Estacado I know. Vinny told me you got that thing of yours back tonight. It's about fucking time. All right, all right. Just tell me what you know already. A waiter recognized one of the guys who came into the restaurant tonight. Some guy named Swifty. Oh, Swifty. Yeah, I know that prick. He left as soon as I got there. I never actually met him before, but I'm definitely looking forward to meeting him now. I had Vinny get some of the boys together. Let us know when you're ready to go and kick some righteous ass. Oh, that's enough for me. I'm ready to go kick some righteous ass. Swifty was, uh, I think Swifty is the guy that was saying, like, oh, hey, wait a, hey, wait a, you know, let me get this to go. I think that was him. I'm pretty sure. Look at Chief. This guy right here. Never talks. Jackie, give me a shot when you're ready to go. That's it. It's the only noise you get. You get, huh? Mm -hmm. I like it that way. Look at him. That pump shotty. That thing. He's a beast. Love you, Chief. Mwah. I love you. All right, Vinny, let's go do this. This is gonna be a, a lulzy part. Hey, Jackie. What say we go? I don't mean lulzy is funny. I mean like 
lulzy as a lull in the combat because I mean yeah it took me about 10 minutes to even get to the mission so uh, I'm gonna end this part here we're gonna start part 3 fresh on to the next mission thank you for watching hope you enjoyed I'll see you later